today we have this another BMW it's a 3 series uh, 08 plate 2 liter engine petrol and it is 2 door metal convertible so meaning this is their model that the roof folds and goes into the boot and it becomes convertible okay and normally it comes on two door version this car comes in with the several folds it has the engine fold code and it has the uh, ABS hydraulic fold code the engine fold code says uh, is most probably the knock sensor and when you have the knock sensor fold code it could be um, the knock sensor itself or you, it could be uh, other things like maybe trans wrap, it could be spark plug, coil and uh, uh, all of those uh, ignition components meaning that the emission is not right that's why uh, a knock sensor is throwing us that fault that's one so we'll bring it in to a small service and along the way we'll change the plugs and inspect the mission coil second fault code is abs uh, the abs on uh, bmw uh, some of them has got that uh, Fold and um, normally it is the hydraulic side of the ABS side of the ABS module meaning that we can um, buy a cheaper uh, from eBay um, we can uh, take out the um, hydraulic part on it and couple with the electronic part which is existing in the car it's much cheaper you don't need to reprogram it just put it in uh, uh, check it with the diagnostic there's no fault then that's good you can do that okay so um, uh, uh, stay with us and uh, we'll uh, we'll do these uh, uh, repairs and uh, if you have time we'll, we'll, we'll go through it with you um, step by step so this is the second step of what we're doing we diagnose it and then now we uh, we have removed the scuttle panel to access our engine we've removed the engine plastic cover and i have already removed uh, three spark plugs and i'll show you what could be happening i have removed three of our spark plugs and now i've been checking it you see it's a bit dark it's it's powered you know and you can see that there's mark in there it could be arcing and um, if the plugs are uh, worn out they have a big gap and which uh, is causing stress and um, having arcing you know uh, like this one look at that one it has like a crack but actually it's electrode arcing you know and uh, yeah it's not burning properly so we'll go ahead and replace all four of them and then we'll do the normal uh, oil uh, change and filter change then we start it again and then we observe we will delete the fault and see if uh, the fault codes are gone and then we continue to observe um, if that cures then the, the fault would not would not be coming back okay so yeah stay with us for more so we have uh, installed our, all our spark plug um, it's factory pre-gap and you cannot re-gap it okay well um, we have torqued it to uh, 7 newton meters uh, approximately it's between 7 and 11 newton meters that's how you torque them otherwise if you to you over torque them it stretches those threads and 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 it stretch a little bit so that means it would require more voltage to to to, to create the proper spark so anyway um that's how you do put them back in proper torque and uh, hopefully it does the job so now our engine runs much better uh, though it's noisy 
I'm gonna do the next step is change the air filter um, we'll, we'll get it uh, a bit more we'll, we'll get it a bit hotter so it will be an, uh, the operating temperature then we'll drain the oil we drain the oil change the fil uh, oil filter and uh, clean those banner solenoids and hopefully it does all the job okay so um, we'll see you in the next step stay tuned with us so guys look i have just pulled this solenoid or vano solenoid from that um, from that place and as we said it controls the um, advancing of the camshaft both in intake and uh, exhaust camshaft and look I have seen this is the first time I've seen look at that so that filter really keeps the dirt out and that is a restriction uh, of the oil flow just want to show you this that's why I, I, I pulled both of them and really they are and I, I'm not sure if it gonna make a difference but you look at it it's it's not really um, good to have those uh, uh, dirt on those orifices definitely it would be restrict the oil flow and the advancing of our camshaft so here we are with this BMW coupe and um, we've done the service we've done the MO2 and we have just finished the ABS module replacement I'll show you how it works some tips so you can save loads of money so here is the ABS module you've got two parts you've got the hydraulic side you've got the electronic side you can buy them use or pre-owned from um, other um, uh, breaker or whatever as long as they're good First, you get the, the used one, plug it into your existing one, just the electronic, don't put the, the, the um, hydraulic pipes on, put it in, and read if you have the same code code as previously. If you don't have the same previous code as previously, you can just uh, take it back and then split it to half. Okay? Like this one. So these are just passing with these bolts. You've got two bolts here and one on the other side. So you can use the existing one in the car and just replace this one if the bolt is pressure uh, sensor fault. Okay? So it's the hydraulic unit that always has a problem, most likely has the problem. So you take out the hydraulic control unit, use the new one from the second hand that you purchased, and use your old ECU. Okay, use the old ECU. In that case, you don't need to reprogram or you don't need to code the, the ECU. Okay, so that's how you save. Cost you a lot of money, but in this way, it would be a lot, lot cheaper. So that's it. Then afterwards, you can clear the fault code, write test it, bleed it, and then work job is done. So you have a happy customer. You paid a fraction of the cost and job done. So again, uh, we're done with that one. Another BMW, another happy customer. Hopefully, I'll show you some more. And thank you guys for finding time watching this video. If you find it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more DIY tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, this is your Master Tech from Green Arrow here in the UK and hoping to see you next time for more video tutorial.